Hey everyone, it's Masuki Arts. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do another like very chilled out uh, painting process video um, because I've been really busy with school lately um, and I just really need like a video that's going to be chill and just about like, you know, drawing cute fairies and sharing that with you guys because obviously if you're subscribed here, you probably like painting fairies or painting in general uh too so let's just get right into that the entire time i'll probably be rambling to you guys about like you know um school and uh my classes and everything that's just been going on lately basically for me like you could probably gather from uh, the fact that I've mentioned school multiple times, uh, I am enrolled in classes right now, specifically like art classes uh, for college towards an art degree. Um, in case you guys aren't familiar or I haven't like mentioned it enough for you guys to know, I don't know. As my schedule is set right now, I'm in class five days a week, uh, which qu is quite a bit more intense than uh, my previous semesters um but it's okay because i'm getting to the point where it's all art classes which is pretty cool um i don't know how i'll feel about that you know when like final season rolls around and i've got like you know four four different art related projects going for four different classes or really that would be like eight projects because some teachers give like two final projects for art classes like it really depends on the professor you know but anyways, so far it's proven to be both uh, a blast and also overwhelming. Uh, I've been to museums already this semester and I have another museum trip uh, coming up and um, we've got like collage work going in a couple different classes of mine and one of them I'm making a guinea pig themed chess set like it's a it's a sculpture class and we got to choose what we wanted to do and I chose to make a guinea pig chess set. I don't even play chess. That's the funny thing. Um, so I explained it to people that know me in real life and are like, what are you doing uh, making a chess set? You don't even play. Um, well, you see, the guinea pigs are the madness. The chess is just the method, you know? Like, the chess is just my excuse to sculpt 32 guinea pigs for my, you know, sculpting project. So, uh, yeah, there's that. That's going pretty well. As of recording this, I'm about 10 guinea pigs in, um, which is cool. <laughs> um, and I got to draw like 30 guinea pigs to like sketch things out and kind of get an idea of what different like breeds I wanted to include, what different fur patterns and all that. That was pretty fun. Um, and I'm really, I'm having a blast. I missed sculpting a lot. Um, for those of you who don't know, I used to sculpt dolls. Um, like full BJD type dolls. Um, I never like uh, finished a true BJD, you know. Um, I had one named Fiona uh, who came pretty close to being done. I just needed to do some like final work on her to make her look really good. Um, and before that, I did like mostly random little one off like dolls that didn't have like inset eyes or anything they were just clay you know um so those were pretty fun projects but it's been a couple years now uh since i really worked on anything like sculpture related um like true like clay uh personal projects um <laughs> i took i took a couple ceramic classes since then so i'm not too rusty but, um, obviously ceramic is different than polymer clay, so, um, yeah, there's, there's been some personal, like, doubts about whether or not I was going to be able to handle, like, polymer clay. Uh, I, I forgot to mention, uh, I, ch I got to choose the medium, too, <laughs> so, um, my, I don't think my professor was too keen on me using polymer clay in, uh, his, his very... Uh, very esteemed like advanced sculpture class um, which you know he seems he seems to have a lot of experience and all that so he probably looks at polymer clay going it gathers dust it's it's you know hard to handle because of that 
and he probably has his own vendetta against it just because there are better materials, but I'm, I'm cheap, I have experience with polymer clay, and that's why I want to use it. Other than the sculpture course, um, my other classes are moving pretty slowly because I don't get to set the pace in those, and also I've been just trying to get together materials, you know? Um, and that has been extremely overwhelming, and it has put a huge dent in my bank account. Um, I don't like using the stores that the school um, recommends. They have a, a store that puts together the kits, you know, um, and the kits are usually in the uh, like 180 to like $300 range per class. Um, it really depends on which class and then there'll be things outside of the kit that you have to buy. Um, and you know, that's, that's great for some people that works, but I don't have $300 per class to throw around. Um, obviously I want to have good materials, be able to do good work in my classes and things, but sometimes I think, uh, getting alternative materials is not a bad idea, at least like shopping around, you know? Um, especially for classes with mediums that I'm familiar with, you know, um, like in my first semester I took drawing one. Um, and we were working mostly with charcoal and graphite, and I own charcoal and graphite. I have owned charcoal and graphite for years. Uh, so I just, I used those and I filled in the gaps for things that I didn't have, you know? Um, so that's kind of what I've done for almost all of my classes, um, wherever I could. <laughs> um, because sometimes the school also wanted to send me, you know, like 30 miles in any direction, uh, for, <laughs> for art supplies. Um, so I just went with, um, with my own shopping for, for this semester and it has been thoroughly overwhelming both financially and in terms of how much time it has sucked from me to shop for these materials. And so ironically, now that we're actually getting to the point where I'm getting assignments, I'm less stressed than I was at the beginning of the semester trying to get my schedule straight and uh, gather materials. Um, so that's kind of funny. Anyway, other than the random pockets of stress from trying to get together art supplies and uh, get my schedule straight and everything, um, the semester has not had too terrible of a start. You know, like I mentioned, I've already been to an art museum and that was pretty cool. Um, and I've had some good experiences in my classes. Um, it's kind of funny to say that, like, I'm not getting more stressed because of assignments. It's not that I don't feel overwhelmed by them. It's just somehow less overwhelming than, um, like, gathering materials and trying to be ready for said assignments, you know? But anyway, all the money I've had to spend for these supplies has certainly burned a bit of a hole in my wallet. So if you want to go check out my Etsy shop, there's lots of new cool stuff up there, including stickers and pins, and there's lots of prints. There's still a couple paintings left that have been up there for a while, so if you want to give them a home, go ahead. I'll probably be adding more uh, paintings and stickers and stuff to my shop later this fall, so make sure you follow my shop on Etsy, um, and the link will be in the description box in case you're interested in checking any of that stuff out. Thank you for listening to my spiel, and I hope you enjoyed getting a look at some of the stickers available in my shop. Let's just get right back to the video. I feel like no matter how much schooling I go through, the beginning of the semester is always like... Um, one of, if not the most stressful parts, because I don't know where I'm supposed to be, I don't know what my semester's going to look like, I don't know anyone, like, no matter how old I get, it always, like, gets to me to some level. But honestly, uh, this semester I've maintained, uh, my ability somehow to keep painting every day, um, which is shocking because I usually go into a terrible art block for, like, the first month of school, but, um, for some reason I've been, like, extremely, extremely prolific, uh, 
Uh, I've painted a lot of fairies, a lot of elves, uh, a lot of guinea pigs, you know, a lot of great stuff um, that I've had a lot of fun with, um, which is pretty cool uh, because, yeah, I'm at the point now where I'm in all art classes too, so um, I'm excited to see what the semester brings. I think it's ironic that I've been painting so much too because my migraines have been really really severe lately um i feel like i've said that in multiple paint with me videos um but uh, i i feel like i'm like i don't know they're just they're coming with weird symptoms now so that's fun um i won't go into detail it's just it's it's unpleasant folks it's unpleasant i hate i hate migraines i hate it i don't know why my head does this to me but it's like every day and it's horrible and I am on treatment for it and it's supposed to help but um, sometimes it really feels like it's not helping at all. I don't know. But anyway, that is my complaint of the day. Um, which really, I don't know that I have much of a right to because even though I, you know, I feel like I'm dealing with a lot of pain and a lot of like, you know, fun, fun times. I'm still painting every day. I'm still drawing every day. I don't miss class for, you know, um, it just means I do all that with a lot less energy. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this very casual paint with me video. Um, if you're in school right now, whether it be college, high school, middle school, whatever, um, feel me free to tell me about it in the comments down below. Uh, tell me how your semester's going. Um, tell me what you've been painting or drawing lately. Real quick before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to my Kofi supporters. So thank you so much to Ashley, Savini, oh my goodness, Savvy, Tiffany, and Kia Walker. Thank you guys so much for your support, and if anyone else wants to join my Kofi membership, the link will be in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!